Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the area of this triangle EFC that is inside this square ABCD. And moreover, the areas of this green, blue, and orange triangles are given to us as 5, 4, and 3 respectively. So let's go ahead and get started. And here is our very first step. We know that A, B, C, D is a square and we know that all sides of a square have equal lengths. So let's suppose that each side of this square is X units. This is X, this is X, all the way. Each side is X. And here is our next step. Let's focus on this blue triangle EBC. Here is the area of a triangle formula A equal to base time height divided by 2. And in our case, the area of this blue triangle is 4. And in our case, height is X units. And we are going to call this base as B. So let's go ahead and plug it in in this formula. Area is 4 equal to base in our case is B time height is X divided by 2. So far so good. Let's multiply both sides by 2 to remove this fraction. So this is going to make this 2 and 2 is gone. So B times X equal to 4 times 2 is 8. Let's divide both sides by x. So b turns out to be 8 over x. So that means this base turns out to be 8 over x. And in this next step, we are going to focus on this orange triangle CDF. And here's the area of a triangle formula. Once again, A equal to base time height divided by 2. And in this case, the area of this orange triangle is 3. And here the base is X units. And let's call the height of this triangle H. And let's fill in the blanks right now. Let's, so it's going to be... A in our case is 3 equal to base is in our case is X time H divided by 2. So that is going to give us X time H equal to 6. That means H equal to 6 over X. So that means this H is going to become 6 over X. And now finally let's focus on this green triangle AEF and we want to find the base and the height of this triangle and we know that the whole this side AB is X unit and we know that EB is 8 over X so that means this side is going to be X minus 8 over x for this green triangle. Likewise, on this side, if you look at this side, AD is x units, and the side of this DF is 6 over x, so this side is going to be x minus 6 over X. And once again, the area of the triangle formula is A equals to base time height divided by 2. And in our case, the area of this green triangle is 5. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, base in our case is X minus 8 over X times height in our case is X minus 6 over x and everything is divided by 2 equals to 5. Let's remove this fraction 2 by just multiplying both sides by 2. This 2 and 2 is gone so we ended up with x minus 8 over x 
time x minus 6 over x equal to 5 times 2 is 10. Now we are going to solve this equation for x. Now let's focus on this part, the factor. I have just copied it down over here. Let's simplify this thing. I'm going to put 1 underneath to make it a fraction. Let's crisscross. Cross multiply. When we cross multiply, x times x is going to give us x squared. Then we are going to put down this minus sign. 1 times 8 is going to be 8 divided by Let's multiply these denominators. 1 times x is going to be x. So therefore, this part could be written as x squared minus 8 over x times. If we do the same process with this one, that is going to give us x squared minus 6 over x equals to 10. Now let's go ahead and multiply these numerators first. And I have just copied them down over here and use a FOIL method, or sometimes we call it double distribution. And we got x squared times x squared always give us x power 4. And we got this answer. I can go ahead and write down on the top as x power 4 minus 14x square plus 48 on the numerator divided by x times x at the denominator is going to give us x square equals to 10. Now let's go ahead and remove this fraction x square. I have just copied this one down over here and I put 10 over 1 as a fraction and I did the cross multiplication and that's what we got. And now if I move this 10x squared on the left hand side, that is going to give us simply x power 4 minus 14x squared plus 48. And then 10x squared is going to become negative 10x squared equal to 0. Now let's combine the like terms. We're going to get x power 4 minus 24 x squared plus 48 equal to 0. And here we want to manipulate this thing. We want to make things simple. So let me go ahead and said let u equal to x squared. Then u squared is going to become simply x power 4. So therefore this equation is going to become simply u square minus 24 u plus 48 equal to 0 and this is our quadratic equation in a standard form. And we are going to use this quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. Now let's identify a, b and c. In our case a is 1 b is negative 24 and c is positive 48. And here is the quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. u is going to be equal to negative and b is negative 24 plus or minus b in our case is negative 24 square minus 4 times a is 1 times 48. Everything is divided by 2 times a is 1. And here I have simplified these calculations and eventually I got 24 plus or minus square root of 384 divided by 2. Let's focus on this thing inside this square root 384. And here I have copied it down over here, 384 square root. And if you simplify this thing, we can write is 8 times square root of 6. So I can write this one, 24 plus or minus. This could be written as 8 square root of 6. And I can split up this one divided by 2 separately. So that means u is going to be 12 
plus or minus 4 square root of 6. So u could be written as 12 plus 4 square root of 6 and then the other value is going to be u equal to 12 minus 4 square root of 6. Now if we look at this part over here, if we simplify we get only 2.2 and that is not realistic. So we are going to reject that one and we are going to accept this one. So therefore u equals to 12 plus 4 times square root of 6 is our accepted value. Now let's go ahead and substitute back u equal to x square so this u could be replaced by x square equal to 12 plus 4 square root of 6 and here is our final step and now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle EFC and if we look at this figure we can see that the area of the triangle EFC is equal to the area of the square ABCD, the whole square, minus the combined area of blue, green, and orange triangles. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of the square ABCD. And here's the formula for the area of a square A equal to S square and in our case s side is x so that is going to become simply x square and now let's focus on the combined areas of these blue green and orange these triangles so the combined area is going to be simply 4 plus 5 plus 3 let's go ahead and write down 4 plus 5 plus 3 that is going to give us 12 so that means so this uh, combined area we have to subtract that one minus 12 and we already know the value of x square and this x square equals to 12 plus 4 square root of 6 that we calculated in our previous step let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so x square I'm going to replace it by 12 plus 4 square root of 6 and then minus 12 and you can see that this positive 12 and negative 12 is gone so simply the area turns out to be 4 square root of 6 so that's the area of the triangle EFC it turns out to be 4 times square root of 6 are approximately equal to 9.8 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye